So what, let's see, what do you guys want to talk about before we bring in our first panel? We got um, Nira Tandon, we got oh, Adam boy. Corolla being... Can big... I say that I'm Team Manchin? I'm Team Joe Manchin now in okay. a big way? Here's I don't the even thing. care. I'm Team Joe Manchin now. I know. Here's the thing. I don't know if people know about this, but basically, you know Nira Tandon, dear mm-hmm. friend of the show, very good friend of show, Nira Tandon. <laughs> and um, she is terrible for many reasons. She's yeah. been nominated to be, um, she's been no. nominated to be the director of the Office of Budget Management, OMB. Yes, Office OMB. of, of bu- Management. Management and Budget, I budget, guess. Yeah, she's yeah. in charge of the budget. They want to put her in charge of the budget. Yeah, which kind of makes sense. You know why? Because she did suggest, as we know from seeing the, uh, from from WikiLeaks, she did suggest that uh, we bomb countries and then yes. steal their oil. Yeah. So it kind of is a, was a good idea to put her on the budget because that shows really out of the that's box fiscal thinking. responsibility. Is that's what fiscal that is. responsibility. That's yeah. What that yeah. Is. yeah. 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 That's being she, that's being that's being you know uh, uh, fiscally conservative in a big I, way. I mean, yeah, it's good. It's austerity, yeah. and you know, lots of people talk about. I I wish I'd done a mashup of this, but her lived experience. Yeah. Um, and and we'll talk about that. But lived experience is basically it's like identity politics. But the problem with her lived experience is it's like if I came from economic hardship and then grew up and said I understand economic hardship, but was actually f- cutting the programs that helped yeah. me as a child. That's what her lived experience is. Yeah. Right. And, I mean, and, yeah, and yeah. it's like also it's like, it, I, what do I give a fuck about someone's lived experience if they're doing bad things? You well, know yeah, what I mean? No, like, and I, yes. I don't care if somebody experienced it and then went on to like make life worse for other people. It's like that just means that you're that like you're even worse. Frankly. Well, no, it's much. Oh, no, it's much worse, especially yeah. when you're pretending this is like one step away. I don't know if I said it on this show or or useful idiots, but this is like one step away from like a Ben Carson who made it and doesn't and then thinks everyone who hasn't made it is boring right. or like uh, not boring what the hell why did i say that because boring. you're talking <laughs> oh what happened i just the sound went out uh oh is that me uh sorry oh, did my, now, did now my you're thing saying, yeah. disappear yeah. for a sec sorry yeah. about that that was so boring i got uh, so I was bored just saying, when you're said boring because you're talking about ben carson and there yeah, is no he's other so boring to mind. Yeah. i mean he every now and then is exciting because he becomes he t- talks like a serial killer when he talks about operating on children's brains we'll right. have to find that later but um <laughs> it's a it's a fun thing and it, and it happens but um how am i in sync by the way am i lagging or is it good it seems fine i'm all a little right. worried my camera cable is coming undone so i'm gonna touch that real all quick. right yeah Touch the cam cave t- uh, cable. There okay. we go. All right, cool. So um, I'm just shutting out some programs, actually. So here's so, the thing. So so Nira. Now, why do we dislike Nira? Because she's um, uh, into austerity. Because um, from WikiLeaks, she we know that she uh, said, "Don't sweat it" about the $15 minimum wage, which for her is actually pretty like low key. Uh, yeah. You know, I thought she would like just vilify uh, minimum wage earners. Um, and also, she did shove her uh, subordinate in the chest. Um, Faz Shakir, Faz Shakir yeah. yeah, she did. Yeah. Um, she shoved him in the chest. But to be fair, he was I asking mean, for it. You know, let's why? also be well because he was asking a tough question to a donor. He asked Is Hillary. That correct? He, he asked Hillary Clinton about her her Iraq War position. Right. So I mean, that is fair enough. I, you, you do get to, you deserve getting pushed around a little. Yes, for that. physical. Yeah, corporal punishment is the appropriate mm-hmm. response to a young a young staffer. That's what you do. Yeah. She did, and she she didn't deny it happened. She just said it was a shove, not a push. Can well, you let's imagine? Be, let's be fair here, Katie. A lot of that stuff is from like ten years ago. So let's talk about what Nira has been doing recently, sure, which do is, it. you know, there was a, a a sexual impropriety scandal at Cap, and then she named the person uh, um, who who was the victim, the victim in an yeah. all hands yeah. meeting, named the victim uh, by name, uh, and then also um, did a um, uh, broke a union. She there was Think Progress was trying to start a union, and they which fired the all of them. Yeah. Was the blog side of uh, Center for American Progress and they right. fired all of them uh, to break the union. So she's a union busting, sort of victim shaming um, welfare cutting uh, ghoul. Yeah, basically, yeah. And now, look is this is what I'm about to say important? No, but I do, the irony is that her, one of the things I like about her is that she fights with Republicans, right? Online. Now I don't like that she fights with leftists online, but the irony is that like Manchin, pe- also, people are saying it's misogyny to oppose her. I'm sure there's some racist misogynists out there. That doesn't motivate me in hating Nira Tandon. Um, and Joe Manchin, I don't know what it is. Is it is it that she insulted? Because she's very she's kind I, of I think, I think Trumpian heard, online. She's Trumpian what, on Twitter. 
Yeah, and so Joe Manchin, we should catch everybody up, is uh, saying that he plans to vote against Neera Tandon's confirmation to be the head uh, uh, of the Office of Management and Budget. Um, that, you know, theoretically could block her nomination if all the Republicans vote against her. Now, listen. There's a part of me that thinks that like height that like, you know, uh, uh, what the hell is her name that, you know, one of the uh, uh, I can't remember her name right now, but one of the Republican senators will vote for oh, her. Heidi, like, Hem- 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 Heidi Heitkamp was the person I thought originally. Uh, but Susan that's not Collins. The, Susan Collins. Collins, yeah. Collins is who I'm thinking might vote yeah. for her. And so this might all just be a big political theater for no reason. But, and but I'm ultimately still going to become a mansion donor because of the yeah, sad, sir. the sad, uh, uh, the sad stab in the heart of it all might be that like. Like Bernie votes to confirm Nira after all the horrendous things uh, uh, that she said about him, um, and that she gets through th- for that. Um, but look, you know, also people are saying that maybe Manchin is trying to say he wants to, you know, not vote for uh, Nira so that he can like have the, you know, keep his centrist credentials when he votes for the fucking COVID package or whatever. Like, oh, good. but he is saying, which of course that would be the best case scenario of all. If like Joe Manchin, you know, tanks near his confirmation and then votes in favor of the uh, uh, COVID package, uh, um, you know, that would be great. Uh, but listen, you know, the reason why he's saying he's not voting for her is mean tweets. And of course, that's some silliness. But I don't give a shit. I don't like Nira and I want her to not get confirmed. Exactly, yeah, exactly. And so I don't really I don't care. care. I don't um, care. And you know what else I have to say about, you know, Manchin is it's like, you know, whether, whether however you feel about Manchin and how he's going to vote on Neera Tandon, we do know that he's always going to be a solid vote against ACA repeal, right? I mean, don't we just know that he's always going to be a solid vote against ACA repeal? Yeah. I mean, I should say here that this is a point that Neera made when she was saying that everybody should go vote for Joe Manchin. Wow, uh, I didn't that, even know this. An important point here. Manchin is a solid vote against ACA repeal. And so I would say, you know, about him not voting for confirm Nira, that at least he's a solid vote uh, against ACA repeal. You You're know? right. You That's know. totally true. So wait, Nira kind of endorsed him. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, to be honest with you, let's have a look here. Um... Let's also focus on great candidates running for Senate and help them. Beto O'Rourke, Rosen for Nevada, right down at the bottom, Senator Joe Manchin. And look above that, Heidi, who we Heidi were just Heidkamp. talking about. Yeah, yeah. Heidi Heitkamp. Wow. Too, oh, but... Claire McCaskill's great. Yeah, I mean, we love her. This was, this was when, you know, we should remember part of the delicious and hilarious irony of this is that Neera Tandon is one of the people that was pushing Joe Manchin as acceptable. When all the people like further left than uh, than her were saying that hung. like no. they were saying fuck Joe Manchin like he's you know uh, uh, he's really a Republican and blah 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 we shouldn't be like doing all this support for him she was out there saying we need to vote for Joe Manchin vote blue no matter who um, and so in the end I guess I would say. Go Mansion. I Go have to Manchin. agree with Nira here. That's a solid vote against ACA repeal, and yeah. uh, glad to have him in office. <laughs> glad to have him in office. Yeah, <laughs> glad to have him as a friend, a friend uh-huh. of the progressives. Yeah, I'll take, I'll take, I'll take fair weather friends. I don't give a shit. I just want Nira Tandon to have a bad week. Yeah, well, I want her to have more than a bad week, but uh, he. 